Hi, welcome to Tested by Pixel Movers again. Um, like I said in the previous video, this is going to be the unboxing of the um, Artisal uh, D16 15.6 inch pen tablet display. Uh, so it's a drawing tablet, very similar to a Wacom tablet. And this is kind of like a, a Chinese alternative. I have reviewed previously the, their D10, their D13 and they've all been really good they've all been, the, the build quality has been excellent so b b without going into too much detail there i'll just get into the unboxing of this and then in the next video we'll um we'll do a a full in-depth review of this so you can see so let's just get into this here so I'll just tip this up and slide it out Comes very nicely boxed, as you can see. Do spend some good time on presentation on there. It's a it's a nice uh, nice package. So if we open this up, and first and foremost here we have the tablet itself. So we can bring this out of the sleeve. So this is the, the actual tablet itself there with a 15.6 inch display. You've got some express keys down the side for things like undo, uh, redo, um, for the hand. So when you press one of these, you can move the, the image around the the, um, the display. And you can calibrate all these to whatever you like within the, the driver. You've also got this like little wheel here, which when you press this button in the middle, it will switch it to um, things like brush size, um, zoom in, zoom out, that kind of thing. And also that's calibratable within the um within the app itself the driver applications itself so as you see there and it's very like, like the rest of them it's very well built um you've got all your connectors down the side here so you've got your um you can just rest it down there a second you've got your on off button here and you've got your rocker switch here and then you've got your um, mini USB connectors here. And then if we just turn it over there, obviously it's got like a bit of a rubberized back plate. So when that sits against the, um, when these rubber bits here sit against the, um, the stand that you get with it, it's nice and sturdy and it's just like i said playing on the other side and the form factor is really nice it's nice and slim and it's not too heavy as well you could very easily just have this on your lap uh, to draw as well so that's the tablet itself and then in here we've got the the rear of the stand the back of the stand nice rubberized foot on there so it doesn't slip on the desk it's got a nice stiff action on it there so it's not going to just collapse on you while you're drawing just pop that down there a second so it comes with manuals so you've got your uh, quick start guide there and warranty information I think it's 12 month warranty and then you've got the how to set up your stand and the different ways it can be used so either pushed flat or raise at different levels and your warranty card there so then under here we have so this little envelope the stand itself so I'll bring that in here so you can see it so it's got a nice rubberized little lip down here which the the tablet sits in and those rubber backing Pa um, backing bits on the pad itself um, just just fit against here and make it nice and nice tight fit on there so it's not shifting around and like I say you've got this um, recess in the back here that this clips into so if we can just open that up there push that, push that until it clicks it's as simple as that and then I say like it's just moves around so you've got the uh, different angles you can stand it out right down to that kind of angle there you can have it pretty much 
flat with a bit just a slight raise on it or you can take it you know right up so it's that kind of angle and to be honest I think that's a pretty good stand you know I mean yeah you get these fancy ones with Wacom tablets with the paddles at the back and things like that but this works well for this size of size of tablet and other bits in here well your main bit that we need to show you here is this little pouch as you get this little um soft pouch and this pouch you've got the replacement nibs and there's a few standard nibs probably one two three four standard nibs and then six of the what they call thing like felt tip nibs which gives you a bit more um just kind of like a bit more friction on the 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 screen i mean the screen on the the d10 uh d d13 and d16 all come with um a pre-installed um that screen protector and like i said these these different nibs you've got um a slightly slippier nib which there is one in the pen already um i'll usually use one in the pen already. we'll just have a look at that um yes yeah, in the pen there's a, a nib in there already and that's kind of like the the standard nib uh, but you've got these light grey nibs in here which are the, the what I call the felt nibs gives you a bit more friction on screen so that's the, that's the nibs and your standard pen and it's a battery free pen which is great no need to charge it um, your buttons on the side which is similar to mouse buttons so left and right clicks and it's, it's a nice it's a nice weight not too heavy not too light I think it's just just right is that one very similar to the rest of the uh, the D range in the artisanal tablets that's the um that's that and then the only other things in here are a couple of um uh, nib holders uh, so pen holders sorry um so you've got these that are just basically um there's a little slot a little groove in the side of the the tablet pick it back up and show it so there's this groove up here and that just um, slots into that groove there pulls out dead easy like I say it just um, it's very difficult to do this when you're watching a screen at the same time let's try again so that goes in there just to the clicks and that can then hold the the pen in there when it's not in use it just clips your pen in there which is pretty cool keeps it nice and out of the way and very accessible and you get a couple of those um, uh, to fit in there so cable wise um, we have this cable which is the if you're going to use this with a power saw so you're going to use it with one of the plugs that come with it uh, and plug it into an actual power source if you need to do that this is the this is the one you use um, alongside the um, the other cable as well so you've got the two cables you've got this one which plugs into the side just get rid of that one a second um, you've got this one here which plugs into the side of the uh, the tablet this gives you your um, video source and this just this side just anchors it in basically stops it from moving around which is a really good idea um, there's not many of the tablets that are actually thought of that and Wacom, even Wacom tablets are notorious for um, these wiggly and lives especially if you're using the tablet on your lap and things like that and that's the USB uh, there as well so this carries the video and um, this one carries the um, so it doesn't carry the video so this one carries the um, the power uh, to the unit so this is this is the power cable and you would use this in conjunction with this cable if you were then going to use it um, uh, if you're going to use it from a powered source now the beauty with these tablets is that if you have a computer that has a USB 2 port um, sorry USB 3 port that this this will actually power um, the tablet so you don't need any external power if you've got USB 3 this will this cable alone will power that so then you've got this cable and then obviously your other cable you've got there as well yep 
is this one, which is then your full size USB to uh, full size HDMI, sorry, to mini HDMI. So you can see there, you've got a full size, full size goes to your computer, that goes into the side of the, um, the tablet. Now, the only issue there that you've got is if you've got a computer like mine, which only has a mini USB input, you're gonna need an adapter. Now I first try this adapter. This is the one I've used with all the, I tried with all the the, uh, the D-range tablets from Artisal. And it kind of like works, but if you get any movement on the on this cable, um, it tends to wiggle free a little bit. And then you start losing signal, you get your, you get your um, monitor screen turning off, coming back on intermittently. And that was the problem with that adapter. So I switched to one of these. And as long as you've got a DVI on the back of your computer, which is usually either a black or white um, um, plug with all these different pins in. Um, if you've got that on the back of your computer, you can use this, which is then DVI to, um, to full size um, HDMI. And you can use that instead. And because this screws in, this has screw threads and screws into the back of the computer. This cable goes into there. And yeah, this is locked in. But I do find because it's a full size, um, a full size one as well, it's a lot sturdier. It's a lot, a lot steadier as that one. Um, and that's not going to work its way free. Um, so I do recommend um, getting hold of one of these if you've got a DVI um, on the back of your computer. So that's all the cabling. The rest of these over this side are just the different um, plugs. Um, so the one that I'll be using would be the UK plug, which comes with it. And it's just got this clipping interface to the main socket. I mean, I don't, on all my computers, they've all got USB 3. So I don't actually need to use this, but that just slots into there. You turn it till it clicks. And there you've got a plug that's for whatever region and all these are the same in here they're all for different regions so you've got a, a two pin kind of like um, European plug there and I think that might be the American style plug or I mean to be honest what you can do is always take a travel adapter wherever you go and still use this one if you need to if you're in the UK take a travel adapter you can use this take a travel adapter wherever you are around the world and you can adapt it to fit um, to fit these different plugs so that's basically it. Um, I'm going to get on to doing a full review of this and stuff and testing it with various different pieces of software. Uh, first impressions is just like before with the D10, um, D13, the D16 is extremely well built and um, nice and lightweight. You could, like I say, you could use it on your lap very easily, you know, with a laptop or something like that. And now it's just a question of seeing how it performs. And we'll. Uh, We'll come back to this in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.